Hey there friends, Steve Dawson here at the Henho Studio in Nashville, Tennessee, and I've decided to make a few videos outlining some of the techniques that I use when I'm recording roots and acoustic and Americana music, for lack of a better term. Uh, if you like this video and you'd like to see some more like it, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and let me know what you'd like to hear about next. So to kick this off, I wanted to address the concept of miking an acoustic guitar. It's sort of a simple thing, but also it can be really complex if you're a bit of a tone nut like I am. There's quite a bit of info out there on this subject, but anytime I've looked into it on YouTube or whatever, there doesn't seem to be much out there on anything other than recording guitars for like really slick pop music. And that's just not really my bag. So I thought I would remedy that here today. So today we'll talk about the different kinds of mics that you can use. Now obviously there's a zillion different mics out there, but I'm going to use some of the most tried and true examples of each type. So we'll look at tube condenser mics, fat condensers, ribbon mics, and dynamic mics. There are other kinds, but for the most part, almost any mic you'll use on an acoustic guitar falls into one of those four categories. To me, all these mics that we'll be talking about bring something cool to the party, and I'd consider using any of them for different reasons. I'm not here to pick a favorite today. Think of this as like a mini reference library for different mics that you can use on an acoustic guitar. So before we start, I'd like to just explain a couple things. Number one, I'm not a fan of multiple miking on an acoustic guitar. There's exceptions to that rule, and sometimes I use a couple of mics on an instrument maybe to get different sounds in different sections of the song, or if I wanted to, say, send uh, an acoustic guitar through a guitar amplifier, which sometimes I might like to do, I might put an extra mic on the, on the guitar just for that signal alone. But I pretty much never, or let me just say, I never record acoustic guitars in stereo with two mics. There's a couple of reasons for that. Partly because it forces the artist that you're recording to sit super still and be kind of restrained. And partly because it also sounds like my head is jammed inside of, a, of the guitar. And I kind of hate that feeling and I don't really like that sound. It also, to me, sounds sort of quasi-modern, for lack of a better term, and there's really nothing particularly cool about that sound either. So if I want something to be really wide sounding for some reason, I can always treat a mono acoustic guitar with a bit of reverb to give it some space and dimension. But to me, that's a way more effective way to go than to uh, mic it with a stereo setup. So that's my long-winded way of saying that I'm only gonna be using one mic at a time here today, because in most cases, that's all I ever do when I'm recording acoustic guitars. The second thing is I'm going to level match the signals of the mics and use the same preamp just so that the sounds don't get colored by that. But I should point out that I don't think it's a fair comparison when it comes to ribbon mics. I pretty much always do a bit of EQing on, on ribbons to get them to sound natural in the way that I want them to. So I'm actually going to apply that EQ uh, to any ribbon mic example just to put it on an even playing field with the other mics. Thirdly, I will talk about some alternative mic placements in another video. But for this video, I'm just going to keep each mic pointed at the simplest and most effective place that I find to record an acoustic guitar at, which is pretty much where the neck meets the body right here, about a foot away. That's not the only place that you can mic a guitar, of course, and often I will put on headphones and move the guitar around the mic until I find the sweet spot and find a place that I'm really happy with the sound. But for the most part, if you stick a mic a foot away, and kind of aim it where the neck meets the body, you're gonna get a great sound every time. All right, well, let me grab a guitar and let's listen to each one on a strummed guitar first. Okay, now let's listen to each microphone with some single note lead type playing.
let's listen to a little bit of finger picking into each microphone. Now to wrap up this comparison, I'm going to play the same part of a song into all the mics and I'll just flip between them as I go. Have a listen to this. There you have it. These are a great bunch of mics that I would consider using any one of in a rootsy Americana singer-songwriter folky style of project. There's tons more mics out there, but I hope you found this overview of the types of mics that there are useful. I'd love to hear what you think. Leave some comments in the uh, comments section below about what you liked or disliked about each one. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.